This video covers the test method ASTM E162 for surface flammability of materials using a radiant heat energy source. The test standard measures and compares the surface flammability of a material when exposed to fire, simulated by use of a radiant heat panel. These material qualities are quantified by two measurements. The flame spread factor, a measurement of the rate at which the material propagates flames, and the heat evolution factor, a measurement of the amount of fuel the material contains. These are combined to determine the radiant panel index, which can be used as part of an overall assessment of fire hazard in a building or structure. The apparatus used in E162 testing consists of two main parts, the radiant heat panel and the thermal pile. The radiant heat panel is a frame of porous refractory material into which a mixture of natural gas and air are burned to produce a radiant output of 1238 degrees Fahrenheit, simulating a nearby fire. The thermal pile is a set of eight thermocouples connected in parallel and mounted in a chimney called a stack that is positioned over the burning material to measure the heat produced. This heat is converted to a fuel measurement using a calibration factor from a known fuel source. The material or specimen is placed in a holder and positioned on the right side of the apparatus, slid in front of the radiant heat panel while simultaneously starting a timer. The top of the specimen is ignited by an acetylene air pilot light. The pilot light is used only to ignite the specimen. The radiant panel provides the necessary additional heat to encourage the flame front to move down the specimen face. The thermal pile records the temperature during the entire test and the maximum increase is used in calculating the heat evolution factor. The time for the flame front to move between 3 inch increments down the face is used to calculate the flame spread factor. The specimen rests at a 30 degree angle to the radiant panel, making the bottom further from the heat source, typically causing the flame front progression to slow. The test is completed when the flame front has progressed 15 inches, but not longer than 15 minutes.